Hey, welcome back to JG3 Reviews, and I've got another fountain pen. This was in a size comparison a couple of weeks ago, and somebody said, hey, could you review that pen? Which I'd meant to do for a long time, but uh, I'm glad to do it. And uh, speaking of that, i got a lot of pens in my collection that at this point have come from comments that you have made, and I've gone and checked out that pen, and, and I've gotten some great recommendations from that. So uh, thank you very much. But this pen I've had a long time. This is an inexpensive fountain pen by Zebra, the V301, and I think the current price of this pen, the last I saw, was somewhere around $4. I'll put a link below, but that's uh, what I saw at last. I think I bought mine at Staples years ago. I'm, I'm not even sure how long I've had this pen, but it was years ago. And so let's uh, flip the camera. We'll look at the design and how the pen writes, what I like, what I don't like, some of my experience since this is a long-termer. And uh, yeah, Zebra V301. Let's check it out. All right, let's take a look at the Zebra or Zebra V301. I've had this pen for quite a while, so you will notice some uh, usage uh, marks and things and scrapes and bumps on this pen, and that's okay. This is a durable throw-in-the-laptop bag fountain pen. Very light, very, very light in its materials, stainless steel and plastic, and uh, just a great, reliable pen. Now, I'll, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you why I say now in a second, because there's just an odd thing about it. But uh, I really come to like this pen. Odd thing I noticed as I was turning on the camera and trying to get it to focus, they didn't get these ones upside down depending on which way you hold it one or the other is not going to line up that's just kind of funny little slip up there uh, but great pen so you do have stainless steel barrel with plastic at uh, the end of the barrel and then the top of the cap the finial is a plastic circle you know <laughs> that's that's it Strong steel clip, but not overly stiff. Very usable. That's always great. And you have uh, a bit of extra grippiness to the grip section, which is exposed when the cap is on. Kind of like a Muji, although you know, that Muji is metal there, but this one is plastic. So kind of a similar, even though very different uh, interpretation, similar in, in that industrial design sense and kind of neat that way. And this, I think, I don't know the, I haven't weighed it yet at the time of this filming, but it it's probably lighter, I think, than the uh, the Muji pen. It is a semi-hooded nib, as you can see here. Plastic grip section, plastic, 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 and then a steel nib. And it is an extra fine. I don't remember if this says if it is a fine or an extra fine, but trust me, when you write with this pen, it's an extra fine, as we'll see in the writing sample. When you open up the barrel, you find a cartridge. It comes with two cartridges in the package, or at least it did when I bought mine. I believe it still does. They are, unfortunately, proprietary. I don't know for certain whether or not you can even get a, uh, a converter for this pen. So I'm going to call it just a cartridge pen. And what I do, since I no longer, our staples disappeared and now it's a Harbor Freight, and uh, not, not real great ink cartridge selections at, at Harbor, Harbor Freight. Anyway, uh, since I can't, don't have ready access without having to go online, I simply have a syringe and I refill this with ink uh, as I want to. And so it has neuters. N neuters? <laughs> I have not neutered my pen. It has noodlers. Uh, wow. Wow. Can you tell it's the Saturday at the end of a long week? Uh, mm -hmm. It has noodlers, eel, black inside that uh, through the use again of an ink syringe and if you're somebody who uses a lot of uh, bottled ink and you have a variety of pens and maybe you don't have a converter for all of them a, an inexpensive syringe and you can get those from you know you can get them from Goulet you can get them from Alibaba uh, ex, or AliExpress rather you can get it eBay wherever you know get, get an ink syringe it's a worthy investment saves you a lot of money a lot of these cartridges uh, you you can even get green points I think for this uh, a lot of these ink cartridges will last several refills, and so it's just a good thing to do, cheap thing to do. You may not be green, you may just be cheap, but it's still a thing to do. There you go. But I find that uh, it has you know decent capacity. It's in between, I think, a the length of a international short and an international long, so not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, definitely not eye dropperable. Not only is it metal on plastic, but uh, I just don't think it has that good of a 
a seal to do that. So kind of loosey-goosey there. Anyway, the construction of the pin is typical Zebra. Uh, it's good. I like it. And like I say, this has been bouncing around in my laptop bag and in my desk drawer and everywhere else uh, for, I think, a few years now. Uh, oh, I, one more thing. Let me show you this. I, in the nib, this is an interesting thing about this pin that's not true of all pins. So when I first got this pin, I uh, did not know, was not aware of a particular type of of uh, ink feed system. Uh, every other fountain pen that I have has some variation of simply a capillary uh, feed that works with uh, fins. Of course, a lot, of, a, lot, a lot of pens, the fins don't actually do much uh, other than catch extra ink should you have a leak. Uh, but uh, just a more typical with a uh, an ink channel between that plastic feed and the steel nib. This pen, however, goes about it a little bit differently. It's not the only pen to do this, but um, they are more unusual. You see there what looks to be, and I think the camera is actually going to be able to make this seeable. It looks like there is a piece of paper, doesn't it? Paper fiber is caught. You probably thought I was just a mess, right? That's what I thought. My pen, I told you I was having trouble with it drying out and everything, and I saw that one day and I thought, oh no, this thing has gotten all clogged up with some cheap paper somehow and I wondered how in the world that happened and I started trying to get that out but you know it wouldn't come out and it's a good thing it didn't because <laughs> that ain't paper what that is is a wick this pen uses a wick uh, to some I don't know if they I don't know the material I don't know if it's cotton or some other type fabric uh, material textile material but it has like a thread a wick in there and the ink comes along that wick up to uh, the ink channel in the nib and then uh, you're able to write with it and I didn't know that and I almost ruined the pen however what I mistakenly did in trying to get that out with my pocket knife one day cleared up whatever the problem was I don't recommend doing this by the way but uh, just kind of as a a beneficial accident that stopped it from being so dry and now this pen is is very reliable and excellent and so my my mistake worked out for once what do you know every now and then murphy's law works in reverse so uh there you go but an interesting interesting way for a pen to work and not one i i think it's the only pen in my collection that works in that particular way all right it seems like every week i forget to do uh whether or not the pen posts or not until after uh, I've, I've switched the camera around. So here you go. The answer to that question is that on mine, it does not. And I don't know if that's where. I don't remember if it used to or not. I will say, I didn't mention this either. It does have a plastic slip cap inside there that you can kind of see since the sun's coming in at the right angle here. Um, but mine does not post securely. And so it, for me, is uh, unpostable. And I've had it so long, I can't remember if that's where or if it was always that way. So, you know, there you go. This is Zebra 301 or V301 and it has an extra fine nib and the ink in this is, I do believe, as I said earlier, is noodlers although this really should be an O, and it is eel black or black eel i kind of forget the order of the words in that name every now and then it's one of those things but hey i heard on the radio today that that's not a memory problem that's just <laughs> that's just me and my problems okay i'm going to be quiet and let you listen i this is actually probably one of the finest pins where i actually like it um As you can hear, uh, it does have feedback. That is mostly just audible feedback. There's a little bit of pencil-y feedback, but really not, not as much as it sounds like. I think that's more because of the fineness 
of this nib, it's, it's smooth enough with just that little hint of feedback. And uh, so I like it. As I said, you know, I like fine nibs. I'm not as big a fan sometimes of extra fine nibs. I, I don't know. Sometimes they just get a little bit, well, honestly, some do get a bit scratchy. And to me, they need work. It's just the nature of the beast. But this one I like. No issues whatsoever. Just a little bit uh, pencil-y. And so I find it to be a good pen. It One thing about it is, like I say, it's reliable. You notice that there's no skipping or hard starts or anything like that, even as long as I've had it, the cap off and I'm talking. And so that's good. Let's let's go over, as I like to do, some pros and some cons. Pros, I'm going to say, uh, and this, this could be, I'm going to put this on both sides. This is a light pen. Depending on your preferences, light can be a, uh, a pro or a con, but it is definitely a very uh, light pen. You're, you're not going to get fatigued writing with this, and I, so I find it a, a, good, a good pen uh, for writing notes and things like that. A pro is that I find the nib to be reliable. And I mean that uh, it is reliable in that I don't have dry out problems anymore, as I explained earlier, but also uh, it just, the line it writes is very much the same. Of course, there's no uh, variation whatsoever. Uh, you just are going to get a normal line out of it every time. It's just too stiff, and, and that's typical of the type of nib it is. Um, as far as a con, of course, you know, uh, there is no converter. Uh, at least that I know of. Maybe maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe somebody has found one that works. But as far as I know, I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna ding Zebra for that though, because they really did not uh, in any way hint at that in the pen. Uh, and so that's why I said it's really just a cartridge pen. But maybe I should say uh, that it's proprietary. That's actually the bigger thing there. And you know. That's within their purview. That's okay for them to do. Uh, it's just, you know, you're going to have to know that you need to know before you buy the pen, am I going to be able to easily and economically uh, do that? Otherwise, just get a syringe and refill it. It's really not that big a deal. And uh, that opens up bottle ink anyway, right? So it's, it's well worth it. The price, uh, very affordable. Uh, like I said, last time I saw it, it was around the $4 mark, and that makes this a really good deal. I mean, you're getting a good uh, Zebra Japanese pen uh, at the price of a disposable, and this is not a disposable pen. I wouldn't consider it that. So that's really a, a, a good deal, and this is going to be completely uh, subjective. But I do like the style, partly because I have used their uh, stainless steel ballpoint pen in this series for a long time and always really liked it. And, and even more than that, I really like the mechanical pencil uh, that's in that. Although I think I think maybe I can't find that one. I can't remember uh, where I put that last. I, it seems like I found it and lost it and found it and lost it again. You know how that goes? Any of you know how that goes? I know how that goes. That's the story of my life. Anyway, I, I think it's a great pen. I do recommend this one. Uh, if you're looking for a, a good knockabout, inexpensive pen from a good company, uh, just, you know, be aware. Now, you probably need to order a syringe and a bottle of ink, right? That's the best way to refill that. Uh, but if you want cartridges, they are available. And, and if I remember right, I have not looked at these in years, uh, but I don't remember them being uh, a bad price at all, but certainly going to be cheaper to refill. Anyway, great little pen, and I do like it. If you like a, uh, a semi-hooded nib that writes in an extra fine line, that's a good one and a good deal. God bless you. Have a great week.